Interesting times are ahead as a potentially extreme weather pattern develops. This pattern we have developing right now is putting a complete halt to typical winter weather for many areas such as cold air and snowfall and replacing it with an abnormal lack of rainfall for much of southern Europe while northern and central areas could see a relentless train of precipitation. How will this potentially extreme weather pattern affect you and when may we see a change? Those are two very important questions that will be answered in today's forecast, so let's get straight into it. The first thing to take note of is how dry it's going to be across southwestern Europe, and this can be attributed to a persistent high pressure area. Any storms that do come towards Europe will impact northwestern areas initially, sometimes even impacting Iceland directly. When the storms head inland, we can see that it's mostly rainfall rather than snow or ice, which of course is an indication of those warmer temperatures. Even still, when those storms reach northern and eastern Europe, such as the Nordic and Baltic countries, enough cold air may still be in place to support snowfall before rain moves in after. Since the high pressure ridge will be most persistent over southwestern and south central Europe, not only will that redirect the storms into northern Europe, but it's going to allow them to dive back southward into places like Turkey, Israel, and Syria. I think we may be dealing with a very active pattern down there as well so flooding may become a concern as we go through the rest of January. I don't want to get too far into the future just by looking at the GFS model, so let's take a look at these weekly outlooks. These maps here blend together the last 48 forecasts and average them out to give us a rough idea of what to expect by week. I have found them to be pretty accurate, so this is what I want to use to show you when this pattern might change. You can see here for the first map, which covers January 23rd through the 30th, it reflects what we just saw previously on the GFS. Very dry in South Central and Southwestern Europe, with wetter than normal conditions across parts of the UK, Ireland, Central Europe, Northern Europe, and even down towards the Middle East. Heading into February, it looks like this general pattern will persist, and we really don't see much of a difference. By February 6th to the 13th, we continue to see this pattern stuck in place. And the fact that we see a very similar weather pattern persisting by this point in time does start to become a little concerning since southern Europe could really use the rainfall while northern areas are just getting too much. By February 13th to the 20th, we finally might start seeing some changes with a signal for drier weather across northwestern Europe with parts of southern Europe, especially around the Balkans, starting to see some more substantial rain or snow. Then lastly, by February 20th through the 27th, we could see a real switch in the pattern further south. But of course, this is about a month away, so obviously we can't pin down details at this time. Another thing that's going to be a bit abnormal is the temperatures. We're starting this on January 23rd through the 30th, and as you would expect, almost all of Europe is under well above average temperatures, except for southeastern areas. This pattern remains established to start February, much like the stubborn precipitation pattern, and then by the 6th into the 13th, there's still a pretty strong signal of warmer than normal temperatures across much of Europe, except for northern portions of Norway, Sweden, and Finland. Then the last frame I wanted to show is February 13th through the 20th, and you might be wondering, why am I not seeing blue showing up? Well, that's because we're looking almost a month into the future, and since this is a blend of models, you're seeing the disagreement among them. But there is one notable thing to take away from this, and it's a significant decrease in the orange and red shades across Europe, which could possibly be an indication of cooler temperatures finally coming back. All in all, we don't want to get too caught up in the what-ifs, especially this far in the future. So to answer one of the important questions raised in the introduction, a change in this extreme weather pattern is likely coming up somewhere around the middle of February. We will see minor changes on a daily basis, but like you saw, the overall orientation of the jet stream and pressure patterns is going to be pretty invariable. Now that leaves us with the other question, what will be the consequences of having this weather pattern for so long? On one end of the spectrum, this pattern could mean almost no rainfall for some of us. Take a look at the moisture anomaly for today, January 24th. Notice how many parts of Iberia have some light green, and that's from the active pattern that we had recently. But more importantly, focus on all of southern Europe. There's some lighter brown here and there, but watch what happens as we flip this over to the moisture anomaly on February 2nd. Look at all that brown that took over just within the next week or so, 
And keep in mind that that's just week one of this weather pattern, so we can imagine how things would continue to dry out if this pattern was to persist for longer. Then on the other end of the spectrum, some of us may be dealing with more rain than we can handle. These are the precipitation totals for the next 10 days, and right off the bat we can already see why we're going to have problems. Portugal, Spain, Italy, and many other places may see very little to no rain in this time frame, while parts of Norway, Iceland, and Scotland could see hundreds of millimeters of rain. Another pretty odd aspect of this pattern is how wet parts of the Middle East will be. That high pressure zone that I talked about earlier is going to be stuck over southwestern and south central parts of Europe, so it's going to basically become a slip and slide, sending storm after storm down into this region for a period of time. That could lead to rainfall totals ranging between 100 and 200 millimeters in coastal areas of Syria, Lebanon, and Israel. Perhaps just as incredible is the snowfall map. Not only will precipitation be stuck in the same pattern for at least the next one, two, or even three weeks, but temperatures are also going to be running way higher than they should be. That's why much of Western and Southern Europe will see almost no snowfall, except for maybe some mountainous areas further east. But now get ready to look at Norway. Areas in that red shade could see upwards of 100 centimeters of snowfall, with some areas reaching an astounding 300 centimeters of snow accumulation just within the next 10 days. And if this weather pattern was to continue all the way into mid-February, those totals would continue to grow exponentially. And now with that said, that's going to conclude this forecast. I just wanted to give you a warning on what's to come as we head towards February. I'll have more forecasts coming up as they're needed with more refined details, so if you want to stay updated on the latest developments, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.